Now, what is your approach to structure, and how and how do you structure your scripts in, in general? Like, do you outline? I'm not a big outliner, um, but I have a very good sense generally when I'm starting writing of what the the important beats are, and most importantly, where I'm headed. So it's like a road trip. Like I know, obviously you know where you're starting, but you gotta have a really good sense of like where you want to end up. And you could take some different routes to get there, but you have to have a good sense of like, okay, this is getting me towards where I want to be. So I'm, you know, if it's New York to Los Angeles, I could go by the Grand Canyon or I could go by Mount Rushmore. I have to make some choices but I will get to that place where I'm going. So I have a good sense of the big, you know, pit stops along the way as I'm, as I'm getting there. I'm not a, a huge believer in, you know, page 30, page 60, page 90. Mm-hmm. So these are the big moments we have to hit. All movies begin, all movies have a middle point and they have an end. It's just naturally everything has a beginning and an end. Um, but I don't believe in sort of the strict, you know, ideas of like, you know, that a three act structure has to hit exactly these moments. Do you like, there's a lot of these rules that you hear about, like, you know, make sure there's not a lot of uh, action. Like you need a lot of white space on the script and mm-hmm. proper formatting. And, and, and of course that's part of the yeah. process, but how truly important, like if you have, a, if you have one typo on your script, are you, is your thing going to get thrown out? No, you know, not at all. That's no. that stuff that they tell people. And I always tell them like, look, if it, if you threw Pulp Fiction down, <laughs> yeah. you know it, if you're a typo or two they're gonna let you go here's here's what i think is true about that though is that the commitment to read a script is a pretty significant commitment you're asking mm. for an hour two hours of somebody's time and really att- their focus and attention and so you have to make them believe it's really going to be worth their time to finish the script and so if you're giving them any excuse to put it down then you've shot yourself in the foot so that's why yeah. you know you know you know, one last check for typos, one last check for like, is this really the best way through this scene? Did I mess up these characters' names? Like, is there, those last things are, those last looks are very important because, you know, it could be somebody's only look. So you wanna make sure that all that stuff is done right. In terms of what it looks like on the page, you know, I make Highland too, which is a really good screenwriting app, and most of them can do the basic formatting stuff for you, so that's not an issue. But you're still gonna have to make choices about you know, how dense you want your page. Like, how do you make it inviting for someone to get all the way through that page and flip it and, and go to the next one? And I'm a person who doesn't like big blocky texts of chunk, a big chunky blocks of text because I just know sometimes as a reader, I'll start skimming and you just don't want people to start skimming on you. So the, so tighter the better, as always, as they say. Yeah, I mean, you don't, don't put more than you need, but you are the only person who can know what you really need.